Chris Trankman joins us from the sinkhole with more on this developing story. The work crews have installed a fence around the perimeter of the sinkhole to keep people away as it is still a dangerous scene. You can see the concrete slab, the remains of a home that had to be demolished as it was right near the edge of the hole. Now the process to get this thing filled is still far from over. It'll take several more days of dumping dirt. We just feel so bad for the people, you know. Denise Redden and her husband just moved to Dunedin from New England. And they both remember seeing the story about the deadly Seffner sinkhole that swallowed a person inside his house. And here we are in Florida a year later, and right it's happened right near us. I mean, not only in, our, in the town we moved in, but right across the street. I wouldn't feel comfortable living right here on the street. Would you? No. Hope it doesn't happen again. After demolishing two homes on the edge, crews dumped truckload after truckload of dirt into the sinkhole. Sightseers showed up throughout the day to see the hole that's been featured on television nationwide. Band members from Dunedin High School cooked burgers for the sinkhole crews, some local support for a neighborhood that can't help but worry about whether this sinkhole will be the last. Well, at least there's no loss of life. You can always replace a house, but you can't replace a person, a human. You know, I'm sure these people thought it would never happen to them, you know, and uh, so it makes you wonder. Estimates on the depth of the hole anywhere from 55 to 75 feet. So it could take several hundred more trips by dump trucks to fill that hole, something that they will continue tomorrow morning. And it may take as long as Tuesday to get it completely filled. In Dunedin, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.